Alright, hello everybody. This is the bus driver and I'm here to take you to school. We're back with some more NHL 17 franchise mode here with your Chicago Blackhawks in uh, year 7 at the trade deadline. We're currently leading the division as you can see and uh, we're looking at some trades there. So, um, what was I going to say here? NHL 18 is coming out next week. So we are going all or nothing in on this, on this run here. All or nothing. I'm just taking a look here, seeing who's growing. Scoville's growing, that's why I like. Dead. So we're going to go all in. All or nothing. Get ready for AHL 18 after that. Um, so, that means we got to make some big moves here. Um, hold on, let me go back here. So some of the comments there in chat were... Um, not in chat, sorry, in the video. Last video. Sorry if I uh, sound a little different here. I just had wisdom tooth surgery yesterday, and uh, my jaw is killing me. So some of the comments, maybe move Semin out of there, try to get a higher overall guy, um, especially with that injury. We could use another depth guy there. Then the other one was is maybe bring in uh, Phil Kessel um, and maybe trade off someone like Nico Hiche, which I'm not totally opposed to. That might not actually be a bad idea, or Schmaltz. Maybe we could trade Schmaltz off, off for uh, Ishe as well. So, let's... Uh... Oh, we could trade Schmaltz off for Kessel. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. That's the wrong button. Um, let's uh, So, let's see if we can't bring in... Phil Kessel and uh, Kulikov, perhaps. Now, who's more important for us to get? Uh, probably Kulikov, so he's in Buffalo. Let's take a look at this. Ooh, Kulikov's injured. I don't know for how long. But if we can get them to hold half his salary... There we go. Hold half his salary for us. And then we just need to find someone of uh, equal or greater value. So, okay, that's not too bad of a... We're looking down here somewhere. Hiche wouldn't be terrible. Um, Schmaltz wouldn't be terrible to trade off. I'm thinking we trade off maybe one of our uh, youngins here. Actually, let's see how... What's that goalie's worth? Maybe they'd be willing to take on... Uh... Sorry, where is he? Um... Armstrong. Now, that's not terrible value. Or we trade off Jonathan Quick, but really, we probably don't want to do that quite yet. I'm a little disappointed we didn't get to see how well Bohinski's going to do. But uh, maybe if we see at the end of this year, his growth, we'll know what they're going to do in the future. But Scoville's team for now, and it might be Bohinski's in about three years. Or we've got to trade. Uh, we've got to make between the two of them. Who knows? So, um, we're not going to... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. We're not going to trade Armstrong. I don't think... Uh, his value there is good enough. How do we have for draft picks? We've got two draft picks. Not the worst. What we need to do is make salary cap available. So, who's got some prohibitive salary cap? Those two definitely. Yup, 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 yup. McDonough. Schmaltz has got a lot, so maybe we should be moving Schmaltz. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's move... Let's move uh, Hayden Flurry here, and then, oh my lord, we're going to need a lot of space here. Actually, let's go trade value here. Uh, we're going to need a lot of space to make something like this work. Actually, hold up, let me pull up the comments here. What was the suggested? Oh no, there wasn't a suggested trade for... For, um... Uh, Kulikov, that's my bad. Um... But they were suggesting trades earlier. What were they? I can't remember now off the top of my head. Uh, if we're going to trade someone, it would be Hayden... F what? Maybe we don't even want to move Hayden Flurry. We might want to keep him. Oh, this is a tough one. Because I know they were offering me a trade for Kulikov. What was it? Let's remove him. Let's throw Semin in there. It's essentially the same trade. Actually, wait, what handedness is Kulikov? 
If he's a righty, I'm all in. Ooh, he's a lefty. Which means I'm not a huge fan of this. Let's, you know what, let's... Let's look at Phil Kessel. Pittsburgh. There we go. Let's look at Phil Kessel. Phil Kessel. Um, excuse me. Oh, I'm looking at defenseman. I was like, where is he? Kessel's got some decent trade value. You know what? We could maybe go after Crosby instead, too. Interesting. Yo, Kell is a good defenseman for them. Wow, where did he come from? First overall offensive defenseman. 43 points. He's killing it. All right. Crosby or Kessel? Who would we prefer? You know what? Actually, maybe Phil Kessel. How's he doing for points? 55. Crosby's got 66. They probably wouldn't trade Crosby, even though it says they are. I kind of have a feeling that they never would. What's his salary compared? Ooh, you know what? And Crosby's actually making less. You know what? For a one-year trade, man? For a one-year trade, I have no problem bringing in Phil Kessel, or Sidney Crosby here. Like, I like the idea of Phil Kessel there, but you know what? I think this one's the smarter move to make. He's cheaper, easier to afford, um, and really, we don't have a lot we have to give up. Maybe we move Hiche. That's decent. No. You know, they're giving up their... Their, uh... You know, their captain. Uh, would they trade Crosby? I, for Hiche? You know, Hiche could still grow. So, there's that. I think... I think that is a, a trade they might be willing to do. And let's put in their second. How's that look? That looks pretty damn even to me. We're going to bring in uh, Sidney Crosby. Oh, we're so close to the cap, though. Um, I'd love to move someone else, too. You know what? Let's, let's move someone with a higher cap than Hiche. Either Schmaltz or... Uh, Yeah, I think we move Schmaltz here. How's that for a trade? That's a little closer. Schmaltz in a second for Sidney Crosby. They might take that. We've got a little more cap space that way. Yeah, let's see if this will go through. Rejected. They don't want to keep his salary. Okay, you know what? Let's let's put Cros or uh, Kessel back in there. See what happens here. Uh, man, this uh, salary retaining takes forever. There we go. How are we looking now? We're gonna have about. That's not the worst. Is the trade value about equal? Well, it is. Okay, let's do that. There we go. We picked up Phil Kessel. That wasn't too hard. Let's, uh... Let's edit these lines here. Trade off Schmaltz. Bring in Phil Kessel. We're gonna have to do lines as well. Let's... We'll just quickly put in Phil Kessel here. That was a huge trade. Huge if true. So we're gonna do this. Bloomstrand, Hiche, and Higgins there. <coughs> He's a lefty. Okay, that's good. Yeah. That that should do. Phil Kessel there is fitting in on our top right line as a sniper with uh, Willie Nee and Panarin. So that should be good. Now let's look at defense here. Um, I'd love a right-handed defenseman. So I think there was... Who was on this trade block here? Let's see. There, there is a defenseman here. Braden Smith, no, not him. It wasn't just Kulikov. It was one other guy, and I thought Kulikov was better. But if the other one's a righty, then maybe that's the smarter move. Uh, Suter's available. Only 80 overall. Nope, never mind. Emelin, nope. Brian Elliott, Colin Wilson. Uh, Gunnarsson, nope. 
Lawton, Giroud, no, Alexander Radulov, Wayne Simmons. Uh, nope, nope. Where on earth is this defenseman I was looking at? I didn't even see Kulikov on here, actually. Okay, well, let's uh, take a quick look at defensemen who might be available. A little bit of the older guys. You know, Cam Fowler or a uh, Sammy Vatnin wouldn't be bad, or a Harmonic. Lefty Vatnin. Vatnin or Harmonic? Ooh, okay. Who's got the less salary that we can make work? Five mil each, okay. Okay, so let's come back to Anaheim. I like those two righties. They want to trade Vatnin, so I could go after Vatnin. Uh, well, I'd love to pick up Chicharin, but he's not going to grow much more. Pick up D'Angelo. Remember, we're just looking for a third liner, fourth liner. Ooh, Billy Polka. Ooh, Billy Polka. They don't want to trade him, but uh, Billy Polka is not a bad idea. You know, I'm just going to look for guys they want to trade first. Uh, Selene, nope, none of those guys are ready to play today. Noah Hannafin grew well. Uh, nope, none of them. They're willing to trade. I wouldn't mind picking up uh, Sammy Vatnin if they're willing to trade him. Fuck yeah. It's a good trade in my opinion. Got an 86 overall who can uh, be that depth guy for the second pairing and definitely a third pairing guy. And the right hand. That means we can move Semin out of there. Uh, again, just looking for any defenseman they want to trade. Uh, nope. Nope. I heard some good things about the new GM mode. Um, a little bit quack, quick, quacker, quicker loading. Uh, Martinez, there's an option. He's a lefty, though. Um, a little quicker loading. Uh, teams will make better decisions and trades and team building. They'll actually try to build their team based on needs <laughs> instead of having like 380 overall goalies. Thinking that's a smart idea. Uh. Mm, that was the wrong button. Okay, we were at uh, New Jersey. I swear, guys, if you've never had your wisdom teeth pulled out, it hurts. Holy jeez. It is, it is terrible, <laughs> to be honest. And uh, I'm just trying to keep my mouth as, uh, as closed as possible. Mark Edward Vlasic. Ooh. Oh, you're a lefty. Darn it. Oh, I would have wanted Vlasic. I'm liking Sammy Vatnin the more I think about it. The more I think about it, the more I like him. And the idea of him. Especially since they're willing to trade him off. Uh, ooh, if Hedman was available, that would have been fine, but his trade value is way too high. I think Sammy Vatnin's our best shot here. Yeah, I think it is. So we're going to make this trade here for Sammy Vatnin. Bring him in. Five mil. Ooh. Is he on a one-year deal, too? Oh, that's even better. Get them to hold on to this money. There we go. And we're going to need to trade off some cap value here. Let's see here. Who do we want to let go, though? We're going to have to trade someone. Uh, Van Bush might not be a terrible idea. We do need to get rid of salary, so... Um, I'd love to trade Hayden Fleury, but he's the left-handed one. But, you know, we do have Ralph Jarrett, though. Who can... 
and uh, and Flurry's got the higher salary. Yeah. Okay. And then you know what? We're gonna trade off one of our first rounders here because we're going all or nothing here, boys. There. How is that for equal? Pretty darn close, if you ask me. Let's see what they think of this one. Jack good. Okay. Just throwing a third rounder from next year. See what happens. No, that's a second rounder. And a third rounder from next year. Or this year. You know what? Let's throw in our third from this year. Let's see what happens. So we trade block really well. Okay. Second from next year. That should be a little better. Rejected. Don't want to keep that much salary for only one year? Jeez, guys, come on. Oh, this is difficult. Let's, uh, let's throw in a third as well. I've also heard the draft has some more... Uh, there we go. Accepted. Um, draft has some more... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, depth next year. You'll find more uh, high, uh, high draft picks in the later rounds. Or high overall in the later rounds, just those are the lower potential. And the uh, first rounders, the high up first rounders are NHL ready most of the time, so. Oh no, do we want Batman over there? Jarrett over there, and then, because Jarrett will be 80 overall, he's just unhappy right now. One, two, three, four, five. Where's my sixth? I guess it is uh, Semon for now. Okay. Oh yeah, because the other one's injured. So Semon's our depth guy, that's fine. Seven will be our depth guy, so let's uh, back out of this. Let's go edit these lines here. And you know what? I might cut through this because it might take us a while. So um, actually, let's see here. Let's man out of you. There we go. Good morale changes there. 86 overall. We brought in some good guys here. I like it. We're going all or nothing, boys, this year. All or nothing. So, um, let's, you know what? Let's let's see their best lines first. What do they suggest? Okay, I don't like it. This, this, that, that, that. Uh, Hiche, Bloomstrand, Higgins, Skavour, yes, Spotjack, and Tyler Kennedy. That's fine. Um, Cormac, you can sit. And circles can sit, okay. Then defensively, seven Jarrett. We're gonna move you, Olivi, up with Ristolainen and Batten in with uh, Tyson Barry is fine. And then seven will be our other one. Uh, is our seven is our McDonough, just so we know. So, uh, fudge. Now I gotta redo all these. Okay, let's let's go Panarin. Nolan Patrick, Patty Kane. Okay, I like that. Taze, Kessel, Willie Knee. Except Willie Knee's gonna go up on the point. We're gonna put Bloomstrand in here because Bloomstrand's killing it in points. There we go. Willie Knee, uh, Mr. Line in. You will leave me. And you know, this is where we're gonna put McDonough, so. We'll put Jared in there. No, not Jared. Sorry. Um, Semin in there for now. That's Jared's spot. Or uh, McDonough's spot. Sorry. So there. That's good enough there. Four man. Taze and Kane. Patrick. Nolan Patrick. And uh, Kessel's fine as well. Uh, Tyson Berry. Sammy Vatnin. Just a line in. You'll leave Vatnin and Tyson Berry. Sure, why not? Except we're going to move him to that point. There we go. PK. He Shane Kennedy sure, Taves and Skivara sure. Why not? Yeah, that's good enough. And PK, He Shane Taves sure, why not? Extras, Taves Kane. This is it. We've just got such a good team. There's no problems right now with uh, with players. So Jared's gonna move here. No, so. Yeah, this is how. Okay, so. Let's do that. You believe he's fine there. Jarrett can go here. Not Jarrett, sorry. Uh, Salmon. Because that's McDonough. 
then this is Sammy Vatnin. Not bad. Taze Kane. Okay, yes. Yeah, so we want Vatnin can be down there. Yulevi can be there. Stalani can go there. Jackson Berry can go there. Let's put in Panarin. Put in Patty Kane. He was crushing it. We'll see if he can keep going, man. He had some good stats there. I'm hoping he can. You know what? No, let's put Bloomstrand in. Actually, hold on. What's uh? I mean, he's a righty. He's a righty. He's a lefty. You know what? Let's do this. Yeah, let's do that, baby. That looks way better. Okay, extra attacker Kane and. Uh, let's, let's put in Nolan Patrick, actually. Shoot out. That looks pretty darn good to me. And goalies are still Scoville and Jonathan Quick. Perfect. Good. I like this. I like this a lot. I don't think I'm going to cut that out. That was pretty quick. Um, and it looks good. So here we go. We're up to the deadline here. We're just waiting for uh, McDonough to get back healthy. Let's advance up to here for now, just in case a trade comes in we want to look at. Don't want to skip it by accident. Alright, and we're just going to sim straight to the end of the year after this. Not looking like any trades need to go through. Not interested. There we go. All right, let's uh, sim here week by week. That's it, boys. This is it. All or nothing. Going in for the uh, playoff run here. And uh, we'll be doing that this week uh, with uh, NHL 18 coming out on Friday, I believe. Um, we're going to need... Uh, we're only going to have time to go through this one this year, so... If you got any uh, comments on what team you think we should be next, I've already had a vote for Toronto. I want to be a team in the East, and I want to be a team that uh, not a lot of people are streaming, or not streaming, sorry, are putting videos up of. So I'll be checking that pretty much the minute before I stream. I'm going to see who's uh, who's uh, who's decided to pick what team. A lot of Vegas teams I'm here, and a lot of expansion teams, so I'm thinking a lot of the other teams might be free for the taking. Which is nice. You don't want to. You don't want to overlap with one of those bigger channels. So that's uh, my only concern here. It's making sure I got uh, a little bit of a uh, monopoly on whatever team I take. That's what happened with Boston. There, you guys. I got. I think it's like five thousand views on that one. A lot of. A lot of. Uh, a lot of uh, attention there, and that's what I like is that uh, you guys. You know, you didn't have to fight with other other people to see other teams or the same team with other people. It was just me. And uh, for a good like five months, and that's that's good uh, for you guys. So you don't have to worry about other people uh, looking at the same team. Gives you more options. You can go watch someone else for a different team. So because you, you don't watch two guys with the same team is how I kind of see it. But anyways, uh, week by week here. Uh, haven't been doing that great since those trades, but we've got a lot of firepower to go around, and that's kind of maybe hurting us. And once McDonough's back as well, that'll help a lot. I think he's back at the end of this month, the 29th, I believe. Ooh, Bloomstrand has an injured neck, strained neck. And you know what? We're just going to slide in uh, McCormick here. Our depth, uh, depth left winger. All right, beat the, beat the West, guys. East is fine, too, but beat the West. There we go. McDonough's back. That's what we wanted to see. Okay, so Salmon is the one we move out. Here we go. McDonough goes back in. There we go. Now look at this defense. This is a killer defense. Jarrett's our only weak spot, but uh, I'm not too worried. And then offensively, we got probably the best top two lines in the league. And then a pretty darn good third line, too, once Bloomstrand's back. 
Because he was lighting it up. Okay, McDonough should be fully healthy. There we go. Perfect. 45, 26, and 3 is not a bad record. We've got about, what was that, 10 games left? So that's, uh, we're still leading the division. We're up by, uh, five points now. That's pretty good lead. Um, 108 points for Patty Kane already. Holy shit, 58 goals with still, like, what's that, no, eight more to go? Holy shit. Taves is doing well, point per game. No one Patrick's picking up. Kessel came in there right away and is doing well. Penelope and, and Willie Need, they're both negative, so we got to fix that there a little bit. Bloomstrand's doing well, still 44 points. Hoping he grows, but uh, we won't get to see it too much. I'm just hoping for the future when we leave this team. <clears throat> and uh, down here, we've got some decent growth. You know what? Seven wasn't doing too bad. Negative three? That's not the worst. And the big one's the goalie. How is Scoville doing? Uh, 2.65, that's not the best, but uh, that 0 0.912, that's pretty good too. All right, let's uh, sim ahead here. We've got about eight games left. <clears throat> uh, beat Arizona would be nice. Nashville would be nice to beat. Come on. Come on. There we go. Big wins, boys. Big wins. Bloomstrand's back as well. We've already qualified for the playoffs with seven games to go. That's early. Oh, with, what was it? Seven, seven games to go. Um... Being at first, that's pretty uh, pretty expected as well. Come on, big wins. 9 nothing against Philly. What a crushing win. Loving that. Ooh, no win against Nashville. That's okay. Uh, big one here is Dallas. Uh, they're one of our uh, division guys. So, But all these are West teams. So these are all big wins here to secure our uh, positioning. Let's see. We are doing defenseman for two weeks now. And we'll do a quick team recap here as well. Ooh, that's bad. Come on, guys. We need a few more wins here. There we go. A few more wins. few more wins. Come on, boys. Oh, shut out. And come on. Give me one more win here against Nashville to end out the play or to start the playoffs here. There we go. We'll take it. We are into the playoffs, and of course we go up against the St. Louis Blues. Of course we do. So this is it, boys. We're essentially getting fired here if we don't win from the uh, from the owner. He's going to fire us. And uh, we're going to be on to another team in the future if we don't do well. So, All right. Oh, I didn't mean to be in the HL. Let's do a quick season recap here and then we'll be ready for the playoffs for this week let's take a look over here patty kane 115 points at the end of the year 62 goals 53 assists plus 40 uh jonathan taves exactly point per game nolan patrick just under a point per game that's a hell of a first line kessel did decent for us i think he had what 10 points there since the trade deadline that's not bad, but you can let me know in the comments there. His point difference. Uh, Panarin and Willie Nee, not bad. They were negatives, though. Bloomstrand, 51 points. That is a good year for a rookie. Um, hopefully he grows. Other than that, uh, nothing really too, uh, too special here. Goalies, this is a big one we want to know. Scoville, 2.62, not bad. 34 wins, 16 losses, 0.913, and 5 shutouts. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's a decent, decent year. And let's look at the whole league. Uh, most wins, Stuart Skinner with 40 with the uh, Panthers there. Vasilevsky at 39, Matt Murray 38. We know Matt Murray does well in the playoffs. I'm not too, or in the uh, regular season. I'm not too worried. I expect Scoville to do better for us in the playoffs. Uh, defenseman points. Let's see. Eric Carlson with 84 leading the league. Uh, Yokella, there's the new name for Pittsburgh. Jeez. He crushed it as well. 90 overall now for him. Other than that, 
no real new names since uh, the All-Star break. Let's look at forwards here. Patty Kane led the league 115 points. Connor McJesus 104. Vladimir Tarasenko 100. So he's going to be the real problem there in uh, St. Louis is making sure he doesn't kill us. Other than that, no real new names. Patrick Liney showed up a little bit more. Akil Thomas, I think that's a new name. And in goals, Patty Kane led the league with 62. So there you go. Patty Kane just dominated this year. And... Uh, we should be very excited to have him going to the playoffs hot like that. That's a good lineup he's with. Uh, in the league, we came... Ooh, I guess... Uh, oh, no. Sorry, we were down here. Yeah, all of us tied with 103. Four teams tied at 103. We just couldn't quite catch up to the Panthers. That's fine. Uh, the Blackhawks here. Let's see. So, 3.3 uh, goals for, 2.7 against. Our defense still sucks. 27% uh, power play, that's amazing. 79% PK, that's terrible. <laughs> and there you have it. And finally, let's look at the playoff tree here. Uh, Winnipeg versus Minnesota. Chicago versus St. Louis. LA versus um, Anaheim. Not Anaheim, Arizona. And Edmonton versus uh, Nashville. So if we beat St. Louis, we'll be playing a new team finally in the playoffs. Then on the east, you got Washington versus New York. Islanders, Pittsburgh versus Carolina, uh, Ottawa versus Tampa, and Florida versus Toronto. There you go, Toronto's in the playoffs. But that'll do it for this episode, so get those comments in the chat. Um, there's not much left to do here, guys. Just lineups, and then we're off to the races here uh, in the playoffs. It's all all simulation. But uh, thanks all for joining me. For those on YouTube, take a look in the description below for more information. YouTube.com slash bus driver. Twitch.tv slash bus driver. And at bus driver on Twitter. I'll spell with an L3US. That's how you spell the bus. Um, just like you can see there on screen right now, hit those like buttons, hit those follow buttons so you can see when I'm live. Join me and chat. I appreciate when you do. I stream just about every week and I can. Um, probably not this weekend because of the surgery. But I stream every week and I can. Play some multiplayer games that you guys will enjoy uh, interacting with me and some, some of those interactive single player games. But other than that, make sure you also hit that notify button so you can see these videos the second they go live. Um, get those comments in before the next video. And I will see you guys in the next one.